Hello guys, my name is Eleni and today I will be showing you how to use a great app that I found online in order to help my students learn vocabulary. Now, the name of this app is quizalize.com, you can find it on the web. And um, what actually uh, impressed me was the fact that it is very professional. So. Um, the first time that you log in, you can actually create classes for your students. So you go to this box here and you can add a new class. Okay, so what you do is you type the class name. Let's say that I have to create a B2 level class. Okay. Now, uh, students will enter their class code into the app. They can log in from their mobile phones as well if they download the Quizalize app. Or they can just open a new uh, window and type um, uh, zzi.sh and then put in the code that you give them and they can participate in the quiz. Now, I'll create the class. Okay. Uh, you have to choose the curriculum, which is, since we're teaching foreign languages, the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, CEFR, that is. The subject will be linguistic competencies. Next thing you do is you select a grade. You only have the option general, and then you create the course. Or you can skip. Most of the times I skip. Okay, so you can either assign a new activity or create a new quiz. Now. I will be showing you how to create new quizzes. It's quite easy, especially if you use other apps such as Quizlet. It saves you time. I'll click on it, create a new quiz. So what I have now is the ability to upload an image. I will pick one from my documents. Let's say that I pick Mm, okay, I'll pick this cat here. Next thing I have to do is give a quiz title. Since I will be creating quizzes for B2, um, I will type B2 above and beyond, which is the title of my quiz. Okay, unit one. Uh, Part 1, exercise 1, because Quizalize gives you the ability to create different types of uh, quizzes. Next thing I have to do is align the quiz to standard or topic. So again, I'll choose Common European Framework or referen of References for Languages, CEFR that is, and then Linguistic Competencies, Grade General, and Submit. Now I'm set. Next thing I, I have to do is add a new question. Now, if you want to add new questions manually, you're fine. You just click on it and you add them. Now, since I already have a lot of vocabulary in my vocabulary banks in Quizlet, I will just pick import from Quizlet. But you, add, uh, you also have the option to import from spreadsheet. So you can type the vocabulary that you want to use or the exercise that you want to use. Okay, I mainly use Quizalize in order to help students learn vocabulary, but you can create even grammar exercises. It's awesome. It works fine. So um, I'll import from Quizlet. So I'll go here, find my level, my B2 level. Uh, as you can see, I have created 740 sets of words <laughs> in Quizlet. But I'm really happy to have discovered Quizalize because it gives you mm, a lot of uh, opp more opportunities. Um, I'll pick this one and I'll find Unit 1. Okay, Unit 1, Unit 1. Where is it? Here. Okay. Now, what I'll do is click on these three dots. Awesome key. Export. This is, this is the vocabulary. I copy the text and then next thing I do is take it to Quizalize. I add it here. C control V. Okay. 
Now I have selected multiple choice and then we have term definition. I click on submit. Yes. And voila. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, I have my vocabulary in here with the correct answers so what I can do is save and give it to class or save to my library I'll save and give it to class now okay I'll assign it to be to level it's already clicked okay and my students will be notified now I can assign follow-up activities, so the weaker students, if they score less than 50%, they can do um, another resource that I have uploaded or use a shared one, a similar one, and then they can, follow this, uh, they can follow the same quiz again, they can do it again. If they score, score between 50 and 80%, I can also give them a second activity and then they can do the same quiz. Uh, if they score 80% or more, again, they can do the same. For these students that are, you know, brilliant, I give them a reward. So they actually do a different quiz that is a reward. But now, for the time being, I'll skip that. And now, you can share the game by clicking here. So students can play the leaderboard, each one individually, or you can separate them, divide them in teams and play in teams. I prefer the first one because I can use it as a record for their performance and I can send it to their parents too. So what I ask them to do is either download the app from Google Play Store or they can just, you know, use their laptops and uh, open a new page on Chrome and type this address here and then I provide them with the class code and they click start and they play the game that's easy now if you click on play team they can play you know by being separated in teams you have to wait for the players and then you click start now mm, I'll go back to the activity list now that you know how to create a quiz and how to ask students to do it um, I will also show you the grade book now okay I can pick a class let's pick the senior I can see my students here and if they have completed the quiz they haven't done it so far only one has done it you will see their average score here okay there are options here where you can sort you know, um, the students uh, having the lowest score first and the or the highest fir first or you can actually s sort them alphabetically or by the last name. I don't use last names because of GDPR, so okay. The younger ones unfortunately type their names, but that's okay. Now let's pick a different class and see if there are more. Okay, my juniors normally do their homework. Well, but now only one has entered, two have entered, okay, great, and they have 100%. Mm, let's see who else did their homework. Since it's late at night, I don't think they've managed to come in yet. Okay, no, I don't have here. Now, mm, in case you've made a mistake, you can edit classes and students. You can choose a student and add them to a different class. For example, I noticed earlier that I have a student here in a junior who is actually a senior so I'll just click on that little pencil and move student to another class Theodora is in a senior class so she will be here she was accidentally put in this group because I was doing some work okay now let's see how you create quizzes hmm. As I showed you earlier, you can create a new quiz by clicking here. Okay. Ah, I didn't show you the quiz that we have already created. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, let's go to my library first. Mm. Ah, it's here. Let's view the activity. Oh, sorry. I'll go back again. 
I'll go to my library, which is better, where is it? Resources, my library. Hopefully it was saved, yes it was, great. Now another thing that you can do, sometimes since I'm teaching online, I use this feature, I click here, play this quiz, I share my screen and we can all play together and they take turns. Okay, so I have to check 60 words. So I have the Greek definition here and they have to click on the English equivalent. Now, next thing I can do is make a mistake. If this periodic is editor, but I'll click judge. So you see that my wrong answer appears in red, the correct one is in green, so they have the chance in the end to, you know, practice again. Now, I won't finish it. I will just create a new quiz so that I can show you a different type of activity. Now, what I'll do is um, again add the title B2 above and beyond unit 1 part 1 exercise 2 now I'll upload the image so that it looks nice I'll put the cat again because I liked it here next thing I do is align quiz to standard so I choose Sefer, if you remember. And the next thing I do is I select Linguistic Competencies, Grade is General, and then Submit. So now I will import from Quizlet. I think I have already done that. So now I will change this. Submit. Yes. Mm, I'll save it to my library this time. Okay, this has been saved, and now let's see what we've done. So this was part 1, exercise 1, and this is exercise 2. Now what is different is, if I play the quiz, that start, I, ha I now have the English word on top, and the detractors are the Greek words. Okay. Again, it's cool. Uh, it actually um, assesses the score, the score, and then the the speed, how fast they are. So they get better marks if they're quite fast. Okay, and I'll show you a last type of exercise. Mm. So again, B two above and beyond. Unit 1 part 1 exercise 3. I'll upload the image. The kitty. It's cute. I'll align the quiz to standard so that I can easily find it. Yes, I'll select linguistic competencies in general as we did previously. And then I will input for Quizlet. And now I think I'll have to press scrambled answers. So I guess the term will be scrambled, hopefully, because I, sometimes I, you know, I feel it is up to you. Yeah, I did it correctly, I think. Great. Save to my library. Yeah. And let's see what we've done. When I'm in a hurry, I. <laughs> I might, uh, you know, do it the other way around, so instead of scrambling the English words, I do the Greek. And then I have to make it again from scratch, which is irritating. Yeah, so you have the definition here on top in Greek, and you have to click on the words. Okay, and what's interesting is that in this way, you can also check the spelling. Okay. Oops, I'm slow. Come on. I did it. Yeah. Great. Okay. Now, I showed you the grade book. Mm, what else could I show you? Ah, another feature that I really like is Discover. 
Let's say that I'm in a hurry, I don't have much time to create my own quizzes and I need to test passive voice. Let's test some grammar. So I type in here passive voice. Okay. And okay, I could limit it by choosing curriculum. For example, I can choose Sefer, where is it? Anyway, uh, I can ev even choose the subject, okay, English language and arts, I can even choose the grade, okay, etc. But uh, I don't have so much time, so I will just go, well, I, I have a lot of options here. Mm. Let's click on, mm, this has five questions, this has ten questions, you can see how many questions are inside. Okay, this one has 20. Hmm, I'm not sure. These are, this is not passive voice. Oh, why not? Hmm, let's pick another one. Wait. Okay, I guess... I had to click on Common European Framework, as I said. I won't pick this. I will just pick world languages. Grade, I don't know, maybe high school. Resource type, quiz. No. Okay. I'll go back. You're the first. Yeah, I know that I'm the first. Once more. Passive voice. Active voice. I'll search it differently. Oh, active versus passive voice. Ah, okay. Now, these are YouTube videos. These are questions. Okay, let's say that I like this one. Mm. Okay, the students have to identify the sentence written in passive voice. Okay, and the ones written in active. So, I kind of like this one. So, I can either play the quiz as I showed you by sharing my screen or I can start a class game. I can give it as homework. I can even share a link with another teacher. I can print a bubble sheet if I want to. I can edit the questions and save it as mine. I can even see the answers and check whether they are correct. Okay, because most of the times when the uh, quizzes are free and are open there are mistakes. So, since I have the opportunity to edit them and I don't have much time to create new quizzes, I can use this feature. I'm thrilled to do it. Now, I'll go back to resources and see if there's anything that I forgot to mention. I think that's all. Mm, these are the main features. So, guys, that's all for now. Till next time, take care!